Hello my soccer universe. My second video on breaking boundaries. Let's look at some shirts. As I said in the initial video, I'm gonna leave the Bayern Munich shirt up there because you got the story in there. I wanna show you five other shirts where I really didn't ever think that I would get one of theirs. Maybe for one team not, but you know. I actually wanna do it in reverse chronologically order, uh, meaning the latest uh, jersey that I broke by a uh, barrier will go first. Um, so basically the stakes increase the further we go down and I'll tell you the story with it, why I initially had that barrier and then why I actually uh, got it and what I think about it. So first shirt here is drum roll please. Olympique de Marseille. Two reasons. The smaller one, A. I'm a PSG fan, so yep. And B. I hated Marseille in the early to mid 90s. This was the team. And I painted the picture. I was a huge Milan fan, you know, I started watching soccer following closely in 1990. Every one of my classmates was following Milan. It was unavoidable that you become a Milan fan. And then I really started following them. Uh, then I followed this Champions League campaign. They, they were like banned because of Marseille, because there was this uh, lights out. They were banned, Barcelona won it. And I remember then there was the Champions League final 93 in Munich, the unbeaten Milan team who um, had just lost to Parma a few months er er earlier. They were a little bit of decline, but they were romping through this Champions League. I remember on the day of the final, going through the bookstore and I'm thinking, yeah, and today Milan is gonna follow in the footsteps of Barcelona, Mosquito coming here, and become Champions League winners again. And then these suckers from Marseille uh, kill my dream. And this is probably still the Champions League final loss that hurts me more than the one in 2005 as a Milan fan. Because it was so unthinkable to me that Marseille is going to come and beat Milan. Now, so, and then, you know, going 95, so we went from school to Paris with uh, the boy being, of course, a huge PSG fan. And we bonded immediately over our hate over um, Marseille. And so the story goes. However, my stance on Marseille has softened over the years. Uh, mostly because Marseille really started sucking a whole lot and were not that great team in anymore. Even to the point, I think in 2010 they won the French cha championship and I thought it actually is time that Marseille wins that one again. So yeah, that was definitely uh, a thing. Uh, and the other thing is I have to say, Marseille jerseys are just generally very nice looking. The color scheme is just gorgeous. So in order to build up my French collection, it was unavoidable to get another Marseille shirt. I totally recognize that the Marseille fans, that's some of the best atmosphere you'll get um, in Europe. And so it was unavoidable for me to get a Marseille shirt. And I have to say, I really, really, really like this one. And I like one even more, you know, which one I may or may not get it, but let's see the away jersey from last season. So that was shirt number one. Shirt number two. Similar color scheme, however, the blue dominates. We're talking Lazio. Now this is not that big of a jump, to be honest. Um, however, there were two things that really, really stopped me for a long time from getting Lazio shirt. First up, I was really, really happy when Lazio won the championship in 2000 over Juventus in this uh, matter. And at that point, yeah, I was Lazio. I always was more for Roma. And then I got to know that yeah, the, the rivalry between Roma and Lazio is rather fierce. So as a Roma sympathizer, I think they have the better color, 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 color scheme. And I would even argue that Roma has one of the best color schemes in all of football slash soccer. Um, it was really hard to go get a Lazio shirt. The other thing is the fans. Um, 
if I wear a Lazio shirt, I remember more the teams, but I know that for many, the extreme right-wing fans of Lazio were, were and are also for me a big deterrent. Something that makes me not really support Lazio. Although, you know, uh, how to say, they have nice shirts. They do, and this is not even the best one. I mean, I would like to have the 1819 one, and I know I could get it get now, but I have to ship it from Great Britain and so on, and then, you know, um, have not done it. But I have a large shirt. I actually would like to have an away jersey or, you know, an alternate as well. Um, but yeah, also them being twinned with Inter, you know, there are many po things that point that I'm not a big Lazio fan. Uh, that, that I should not have a Lazio shirt, but then again, as I start building my collection, I needed a, a Lazio shirt. And it was not a big question, it was not a big deterrent. However, I still find it sometimes hard where we're wearing this because everyone, everyone knows that Lazio fans are rather right wing, and I'm not. And most of my friends are not. So, there you go. Next shirt up. Uh, also not that big, but boy did I not like this team, except when they had the miracle comeback in 99, Manchester United. Similar story as with, no, nah, not similar story as with Lazio. I basically could not stand Manchester United because A, my brother uh, really supported them in England. Uh, at least at first, they were all talking Manchester United, Manchester, Manchester United. It was Chelsea who played sexy full football, however not successful. I did not know back then uh, yet that in order to be successful, you don't necessarily have to play pretty. So Manchester United always won. I was very happy when they beat Bayern because the, because I hated Bayern more than Manchester and you, you know, But I was never a big United United fan. I still think. And one of the best nights, your your European nights that I ever experienced was when Milan uh, routed Manchester United 3-0 in 2007, semi-final, especially with, Cre uh, with Cristiano Ronaldo. However, uh, having said that, I have huge respect for United. I know their place in the English and in the European game. This is the first English team that won the European Cup, what is now the, champ the Champions League. What Alex Ferguson uh, did, I begrudgingly really admire uh, with them. And they are a really important team. When I said every collection, when I got my Real Madrid shirt, I actually said uh, every collection needs a Real Madrid shirt. It's almost like that with Manchester United, to be honest. And then I got this for relatively cheap. I think I paid, I want to say, 8 euros for it. I said, okay, let's get this one. And then I even wanted to get one where they won a championship in. So there you go. I have Manchester United. I have even a second, meanwhile. And it was not a big barrier to break down. This was probably the lowest one because once I had broken down the others and I knew I wanted to have more premier, I knew I needed to get Manchester United. I actually, in a way, it should have been an even bigger barrier with Manchester City because um, hmm, it's a little bit hard, but then they had this beautiful jersey, the away jersey that I eventually got. So yeah. And now uh, to probably the biggest barrier. And you can guess it already. The biggest barrier for me so far, Inter. And breaking this barrier is a similar story to the last year. I just thought I need kinda have an Inter shirt. I have Milan, I have you, I have Roma. I, Inter is too big of a team to not have it, especially for this channel. And funnily enough, on this used jersey site where I usually look, you don't find that many Inter shirts. However, I remember one day, I think it was May 19, uh, and I probably have to link the video with it because you can really see how, how um, uh, pretty, how to say, how unsure I am in opening this shirt. I find this one, this beauty from the 99-2000 season in double XL and that's probably the reason why it was still hanging around for three euros and I can show you the reason why the number is Ronaldo but the nine is a little bit damaged and yes it doesn't look pretty however you know it hangs on the wall most of the time so that's fine that's fine 
I'm uh, for three euros. I don't mind this. I don't know I can get that name set to get it over. And what's even uh, better is that this jersey was from a seller that was living, at least uh, by the address, close to a uh, uh, close by. So I thought let's match, uh, ma uh, arrange a pickup, and it turns out he was working very close uh, in a sports store where I work, and he was actually in the management team, and we met there. He gave me the shirt, I gave him three euros, and I told him, you know, why I wanna get this, and that's the reason why. I want you to know why I got this as well. I saw Inter play in this shirt against Roma. I think it was the first or the second day of the Serie A season. We were in Rome. It was a nil-nil, but Ronaldo was playing. So uh, there is at least a memory that I could justify this. Also, the star was kind of here in, so it's kind of it's not as bold as here. So I was fine with that as well. And I said, okay, let's get it. This is a really classic Inter look. Inter shirt has the Pirelli sponsor, has everything there. And I have to say, uh, yes, it's a little bit bigger, maybe it's a really nice shirt. And the weirdest thing, the absolutely weirdest thing is, when I got this one, I was driving home and there was this joy in me. And I still don't know, was it joy that I have an Inter shirt? Was it joy that I got this shirt for three euros? Or was it just kind of a pointer for me, you know, you've broken down, broken down a big barrier, now the floodgates are open. I don't, st I still don't know it yet. I don't think it was a joy this one Inter shirt because Inter is a team I love to hate. Still, I have to say, this is a really, really nice shirt. Not a classic Inter look. I'm still looking maybe if I want to get a classic Inter look. This is a bit more Inter look. But given the player, that to me still, although he also played for me, is still synonymous with Inter. Really nice shirt. Really nice shirt. I'm actually happy to have it. Don't get it don't get, get, get wrong. However, I barely wear it. It has been hanging up there for most of the time. Which leads me to the very first barrier that I broke down. It's a national team. It's the national team that I do not support. I also got this for five euros, but I had to pay five euros for shipping. But why did I get this one? I realized, um, I think I had made a video late in 2018, my tournament winning jerseys. And I realized that since 2000, I more or less can argue I had from every tournament except 2014, the winning shirt. Turns out that the 2002 Brazil away that I had was a fake, turns out the 2006 Italy was a fake. But other than that, I have from every, and also the Spain one, but I have replaced this now. But I have literally from every tournament, other than that, I have the winning sh shirt. And it continues to 2021 now. So I'm quite happy with that, except 2014 was missing. Now 2006 and 2002 are missing and I, sooner or later I, I will get to it. And then I see this one with three stars for five euros. I'm thinking, okay, that's that. I can use a Germany shirt. It will fit nicely in my collection. I might as well get it. I have to say, initially, I hated this design, but it has grown a lot on me. It is very distinctive. It's very distinctive, uh, and I think it's a better version than the 2018 one. Um, and yeah, they became champions. I want Argentina to win. But you cannot deny, um, I literally think it's not my favorite German jersey and I actually hated the look overall when it came out, but this was growing on me and I actually think for the type of team that Germany has become, this is a very modern and forward-looking design that I actually could probably live with if they would adopt something like that for the future. Hot take. So there you go. Five jerseys that broke the barrier for me. Are there more jerseys to come? Let's see. As I said, a sixth one is up here with Bayern Munich. That was a huge barrier. And most of the German shirts, especially the one from Hertha and Dortmund, uh, getting a German club team was really, 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 really hard. In any case, I, as I said in the previous part where I talk about this dilemma, I want to know which jerseys do you have in your collection that 
are barrier breakers of teams that you actually do not like but you have them because there's something nice that the jersey just fits in your collection or you just like the jersey i actually like all of these jerseys but i think i'm at a point now that uh outside of austria and the red bull bear barrier if there's a nice jersey that i actually like like this inter shirt i'm gonna get it and i will not have big second thoughts about it i might not wear it that often but might even keep the value in the collection even better Hello. give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i will talk to you soon bye i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe and with that i'm going to wish you a wonderful day